Okay, we are back with the second game, second best of one, um, in Sivo Main's coverage tonight. Uh, it's European Death Trap versus Epiphany Bolt. Epiphany Bolt being a mix of Swedish and Danish players. Got a little bit of pro history you were telling me about Dust. And then Death Trap hailing from uh, Turkey. Mirage picked by Vito Process. And Pistol Rounds on the way. Yeah, I've never really heard of Death Trap before today, really. I was kind of looking them up before the game started. It doesn't like they have like a whole lot out there about them. Um, there's not many Turkish teams. Like The only other team I've ever heard of is like Space Soldiers. So while there's some Turkish players out there, there's not many like all Turkish teams like this team. So that's kind of neat. Uh, and then with uh, with your team over at Pitifian Ball, like you said, kind of a mixed team. Uh, the only reason why I remember them at all is because I know Magic's Boy used to play with them a little bit uh, before joining SK. Or at least played a few maps with them before. Other than that, not much info on it. But we already have a quick three on three on this round. If you ball trying to get this A bomb side executed here, but Death Trap done a pretty good job at holding it. But there's a flank setting in from Hiffer. Wait, is he? Gandhi worked his way down towards the bomb site. Now we're left in a. Uh... Oh, Hiffer, look at him. He's, he's worked his way all the way down towards the uh, towards Cat. Bomb is planted for Cat. Playing long distance pistol game, and uh, he's actually going to end up losing that. Picks up yeah. one single kill before getting traded out. Is not able to kill the defuser. That's the thing. So the Turks pick it up. Pistol round. Important on uh, Mirage. Both teams actually pretty good at Mirage. Um, I think the pick by the numbers probably supports uh, Death Trap. They're three and two as opposed to a 15 bolt going two and two. But uh, keep in mind one of those losses. Or 15 bolt was against Copenhagen Wolves, which is a team which is frankly in a whole other league. Uh, that was just kind of Epiphany Ball playing the long con, you know, sending that player up mid to try to attack the bomb from Catwalk. But when you lose both of your players inside the site while you're trying to make that movement across the map, kind of a gamble that didn't pay off. Now Epiphany Ball here will tech on force up. They won't wait for the AK bot to They're going for it here and now. We are going to see Groomer actually pushing up her B. He will get the kill onto Gandhi. So they have control of this side of the map. Bomb is going to go down. The rotate set in pretty quickly, but it's being dealt with as Woxic has already taken a lot of damage. That bomb is going down. The fire will not prevent the plant. I like the double smokes going down. Uh, blocked off cat side over there. Now you got to deal with three people coming in from market. Uh, 50 bolt positioned all over. All they have to do is just kind of chill out and wait. Woxic, the offers works his way out along with everybody up against this back wall. Now SMG, Calix is going to take the fight over towards uh, Bench. Drops Dreamer down, and uh, the bomb's being watched by just one person left. Super, super close. Calix expects to find, what are we going to call him? Easy, easy tag? ES3 tag? <laughs> Drops him with the SMG. Six hundred dollars. <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy, dude. Yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not super familiar. I with feel like I'm watching an anime here. with some of these names. We got Sasuke, Sasuke over there. Yeah. What is? <laughs> Galax, oh, I used to play um, competitive Dead Eye Night Mysteries of the Sith with a guy named Galax. He's a really good player. All right. Really well. good player. Played for the best team on um, in the game at the time. Yep. Very relevant to what's going on. In this game, completely for sure. relevant. Really solid reference. <laughs> I'm sure everyone <laughs> in chat got it. Point. Everybody yeah. played Mysteries of the Sith in 1999. Every one yeah. of you. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Well, definitely heard of that game round. and played it. Ego round for Epiphany Bolt now. A lot of people popping out. They've taken mid control, so that's something that they can go ahead and work with. Suzuki and Kellogg's working on the A site. Wax has been tagged up pretty good too. He's got the AWP back and off, playing more passive angle. They somehow worked their way straight into the ladder room. Hipper drops down Suzuki, and uh, looks like T's just want to start flooding into the A side. Cal is going to be the only person over there. Gets taken down long distance, and uh, suddenly a pivoting bolt looking large and in charge with bomb rotating all the way back through uh, T's bomb. I mean, the thing is, Epiphany Balls had no issues executing sites and getting bomb plans. They just haven't been able to hold off this retake that Death Trap's been dishing out to them round in and round out. And it looks like it may happen here again. That They do have a three on two now. Nice. But Woxic able to even it back up. 2v2 bomb has just been planted. And Death Trap already in position to retake. There's no smokes really to hold them off either from pressing CT spawn. There's one flash on ST. It's going to be all that there is to work with, except for some deagles. But there's some close range battles here. And Krumer already doing a lot of damage there. So Gandhi. But here comes the push. They're going to get the kill. Bomb is planted for ST here in connector. So we'll be able to peek up and maybe stop this defuse from happening. 
If he oh, does, nice. he gets the first kill, gets the second. So finally, Epiphany Bolt, they've been knocking on the door the past couple of rounds to get a win, and now free they op. finally will push it through. 3K round, SMG's free op. So Epiphany Bolt now into the money at this mm -hmm. point. AK-47 is very healthy buy coming around in round number four while they convert the, the point. Death Trap. Uh, they're going to force up uh, what they can, buying all the way down to zero dollars, but it's pretty anemic looking. They've only got three smokes on hand, so not a whole lot of delay tactics. In fact, where are those smokes going? we got Eddie and Suzuki at this point, the only ones with the uh, with the smokes. They're going to stack B pretty heavily, which is the right read. Moment tries to get aggressive. Uh, or the Roxy tries to get aggressive. He's going to get dropped out, pushing up from underpass. So Epiphany Ball with another opening pick here this round. A good way to start it off. He said lots of presence here on Upper B. ST watching for mid pushes. Krumer lurking over towards the A bomb site, just really trying to hold a guy or two in place. Meanwhile, I think we did have Moment push underpass and grab a kill onto Sasuke. Yeah, just peeks the corner uh, real quick right there, suspecting somebody else is going to be peeking around. So that's two kills right there for Moment, both at underpass. And a minute left on the clock. They can do just about anything. They're going to leave e e ES3 tag up at the top. Moment, ST, and Krumer take mid-control. Calyx is rotating off the A side. Looks like they want to take the bomb straight into A. Window of smoke. That tells them exactly what's going on. Eddie's going to start rotating on in. But site's already, uh, well, they're pifting both. They've already got a little bit of a foothold onto the A site. Calyx playing long distance. But, ah, uh, you got to hate that uh, spray pattern on the FAMAS long range. So yeah, Bomb's gonna get planted for Cat once again. Things will be kind of the thing that Pippi Bolt's been doing round in and round out is just putting that bomb down and playing it from connector. They'll do it again. Gandhi looks like he'll just save this Famas for next round. Not much, uh, not much to be said about that moment now. Peeking around the corner, just hunting down that last man standing. Converts that round into a 4K for himself. Uh, certainly showing up as man of the match so far early on. Two and two with Epiphany Bolt taking that, uh, taking Death Trap on their force buy. Now we're going to see an eco. Yep. Indeed we are. So, kind of a scrappy start to the game, but it looks like Epiphany Bolt has taken economic control now. We will see them again just kind of play this more mid control uh, favorite play as Sasuke. Gonna be taken out immediately here, but Eddie pressing the catwalk, able to pick up one, but quickly dealt with efficiently by Epiphany Bolt. Like There's a single kill. Easily. Yeah, Krumer drops Kallus. Teddy Dayside like completely open. He calls to his uh, teammates. Guys, I got a doesn't matter. Moment and he has three tag just walk into the B site and uh, frag out. Almost got the bomb plan. I think they just missed it in the nick of time. Not that they're necessarily hungry for cash. I saw one player sitting on uh, $10,000. That was ST, even post buy. $10,000 AWP in hand, death trap. Gonna go into a gun round right here, but again, rather low on utility. They got four smokes, no mollies. And actually, pretty low on uh, flashes as well. You can see two pushing up aggressively in mid, they're going to get flashed out. No kills exchanged just yet. Waxaketti, they really ought to be uh, backing off. They're going to hold their position up, dropping in for tag. That gives Moment just enough time to push out from underpass. Takes a single kill, but Suzuki already up in window. And so it's down to the three on three. Smokes are up onto the A-bomb site again. Epiphany Bolt going to take a plant inside this site, but that's trapped. Their retakes have usually been pretty good. And so far, they're starting out well. There's a big gap in the smoke, so the bomb can't go down. Now Kruger will plant on the other side. ST does have CT spawn and control. He will find an op pick there. Sees the retake coming in from Connector. Finds another op frag there. Well, even has a Molotov to throw onto the bomb as well to prevent Gandhi from being able to get onto the bomb and tap it. And he doesn't have a kit either, so this is killing a lot of time, which is really going to help ST out here in this 1v1. Gandhi now needs to make a play quickly. Again, doesn't have that kit. He's Taps got a smoke. Bomb. Uh, forces wow. ST out, but ST hits the shot. So a big, big round there from ST to kind of salvage it because it got a little bit scary for a second, but he gets it. And so now they're up 4 2, and they have Dead Traps money low again. So they have a great chance to go ahead and, and increase their lead here and now. <sighs> Epiphany Bolt, uh, hot off of. I, I, I didn't catch the final map, but I, I believe they actually beat LDLC just a few moments ago in a best of three. And uh, they're certainly the favored team to win right here tonight versus Death Trap. Death Trap is going to be super low on cash. Uh, let's see. They set up the defense rather conservatively. They're not going to go ahead and push up anything too aggressively. Maybe they learned their lesson on that one gun round where they came charging up. 
and uh, got caught out. Kalex, Suzuki, and Woxic all pushed up by A site. Relatively heavy A stack. And Epiphany Bolt hoping for a push. As we are going to have a three man stack here on the A bomb site. No real presence at mid. Suzuki going to go ahead and get that Teague frag right on the Groomer, cut out the A ramp. And now we're going to see Kalex trying to push into Palace. He does get one as well. ST will be able to trade out. This is a three on three. And he catches that push as well. So ST, a couple of big rounds in a row here now. Back to back triple frag rounds. Bomb is going to go down. Gandhi, though, still a chance to make this retake work. He does pick up an AK. Okay, so we've seen ST with, what, two 3K rounds so far? Uh, that's a quad kill now. Make actually. it a 4K with the AWP. Wow, okay. He's been yeah, big this ST. game. He's now 11-0 and 2. I'm just going to throw that out there, and we're only in round number 8. Yeah, well done. Star of the Shell. Opper for Swedish Danish Epiphany Bolt. I don't yes know, Dust. No. I mean, Death Trap, they're struggling over here. They haven't had a whole lot of gun rounds. No, not at all. I mean, it was looking pretty good at the beginning when it went back and forth and was that 2 2 score, and I saw some good retakes out of them. But the, the fact of the matter is, is Epiphany Vaults had a bomb plant. Did you see that oops much right there? Every round. If her, that was a team damage grenade right there. It happens, man. It happens. Your chat is ringing out NA nades. <laughs> Keeping the meme alive. About it. Mid control granted fully to Epiphany Bolt at this point. Groomer harassing and making a presence at uh, B. Woxic's not watching at window as the opera. He got smoked off, falls back passively, uh, looking from CT spawn, making sure that nobody crosses through from ladder and window room. A little bit of pressure going on at B there. First pick by Hipper. Gandhi's going to reply. And uh, Krumer tries to make trade. He takes a lot of damage. going to go ahead and back off. Suki also picks a single kill. And off of that, ST is going to start rotating the bomb back towards A side. Moments inside the A site. And he's creeped his way in uh, ladder in jungle. So they don't expect him to be right there. Oh. ST, what kind of a flick shot was that? Kalix dropped down instantly. And I don't think they know Moments here yet. Uh, but now they hear I'm actually pushing up in the CT spawn. I'd assume I'm sure Sasuke is hearing this. They are gonna get this bomb planted here safely. Moment even trying to like peek and make sure pickup boost clear. Now he's jumping on top of boost. He put himself in a really highly exposed position. Doing a lot of damage here to Suzuki, but not able to actually get the frag. The nade may finish him off. Nope, it actually goes a little bit too far past, so that won't finish him off either. Meanwhile, Gandhi coming up connector, and now Moment will get taken out. So that was just not really smart for Moment, but ST, will he have another big multi-frag round to secure it for his team? He's in a 1v2, and he nope. will get taken out. I think that was just poorly played in the post plant. I think Moment pressed the issue way, way too much. And just in general, I feel like Epiphany Vault is just maybe getting a little bit too confident. You see that round, they played it yeah. so individually. They spread out across the map, trying to take a bunch of 1v1 aim duels, not really working together as a team. And so I think that they need to kind of have a little bit of a mental reset here and kind of rethink their approach. I think that was just way too confident. Yeah. Almost arrogant the way they were playing there. It's just not going to win you rounds. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. I mean, it's it, it's just sloppy kind of sloppy kind of play. There's a lot of like one v one sort of fights, and then whenever whenever somebody goes in for a trade like Krumer or early on, right? You got the one kill. I think Hipper ends up getting killed at the B side, and then Krumer's super late, just out of position to go ahead and make a trade kill. And one by one, they're all kind of grouping up and getting into these these situations, which yeah, they they have proven the ability to out frag and out shoot Death Trap, but it's not going to happen all the time, especially if Death Trap's playing it really smart. Here comes Krumer making the uh, make the big play. Flash himself out, drops into B side. Looks like they're just going to go contact B. Smokes all around. We've seen this uh, in, what, one of the eco rounds? Krumer takes the first kill, but Suzuki and Woxic right there pushing into the site. Suzuki is spotted out by ES3. Molly's blocking off, and Kalix is going to have to retreat. Yeah, so, I mean, we were just kind of talking about maybe the overconfidence of Epiphany Ball. In this round, they just gather up and hit something together, make sure that they're set up to actually trade with one another, and they do so very efficiently. They win the round only losing two players, and now Death Trap's economy has been reset in a pretty pivotal moment in this half, so they're pretty much... I mean, some of their players are even maybe in double save territory. Definitely a save this round. So, very good chance for Epiphany Ball here to... 
build up a pretty big lead here on the T side of Mirage, which is certainly not the favored side on this map. Typically, you see more rounds on the T side, but it's not crazy imbalance, so still Kill. some hope for Death Trap, but they need to get something going uh, soon. Next gun round. Still likely going seven and three at this point. I think any team has to be pretty happy with seven to seven plus rounds T side Mirage. Yeah, for sure. So, Epiphany's already looking like they're in very good shape. They've taken mid control. Suzuki's traded a couple of shots back and forth, and he's been tagged down to about 29 health in connector. And Moby's just keep on pushing the issue. He suspects that this player is over here on the left side, spots his shoulder, takes an drag through the wall, and then Hipper opens it up as well. So that's technically two A hits, or A picks at this point. They're going to have to deal with Calyx. Uh, who's trying to watch play on the other side of this smoke box. It's also pushed up in dark. Calix is going to engage in a 1v1. He's down as well. Wox is the last man standing, but they know that the B side's completely clear. Bomb's going there. It's not even going to matter, Dust. So 7-3 in favor of Piffany Bolt here. Death Trap has a decision to make whether they want to buy this round or whether they just want to take like a wider buy and make sure they get a full buy next round. So yeah, they will not force it up. They will just kind of... Put a little bit of money into it and just kind of wait it out until the next round. So great chance for Piffany Ball to even take a bigger lead now, 8-3. So they've really pulled out ahead. After losing Pistol in the second round, they've been able to win uh, quite a lot now. I mean, they've, they've won, yep. what, seven of the last eight rounds. So it's been, including resetting Death Trap's money. So it's been right. a, a really good half for them. <sighs> Death Trap, uh, they got one scout. Not a whole lot to work with right here. Not stacking in any sort of sights either. Gandhi's going to go ahead and get uh, a little aggressive with the pistol. Jump around, drop an ES3 down. Oh, and Loxic also. Where's what the, the guy hell? from? Drops in underpass. Takes a free frag. I don't know what's happening. In the space of a second, almost every member of Epiphany Bolt is dropped. It's up to Krumer all alone to clutch this thing out. One versus three. It shouldn't work. On paper, this is a round victory for Death Trap. Krumer's going to hightail it out of there. And the bomb is stuck at back of Palace. Krumer should still be able to take possession of the bomb, though. It's not being watched. Well, Sasuke has actually pressed up here. Looks like he might even go up the ladder. So it seems like this will actually be contested. Yeah, Molotov will actually go on it. So Krumer can't even pick up the bomb because of that fire. And he would have to deal with Sasuke whenever he peeks out. Which Sasuke may actually just peek off the back of the fire, dissipating. He will just go and grab the frag. So, yeah. That was really chaotic. I'm not even sure what really happened there. It seems like just pistol kills ring out all across the map. Just catching Epiphany Vault completely off guard. And so Death Trap, they won themselves another round. They even pick up like a, a couple of free AKs, which helps out their money a little bit. But then you need to worry about their money being reset again if they lose this round. Yeah, it, it happened really, really fast. It looked like there was just a lot of aggression going on with Death Trap pushing out all over the place, uh, including what the the peak going on at uh, apps as well as pushing down through the underpass. Just wreck it. I think it messed with 50 volts communication and situational awareness. Now a little more standard round going on. Suzuki dropped immediately mid control granted to a 50 bolt. Bomb's sitting at the backside so they can do just about anything. ST low on HP. He's gonna go back and grab the bomb. Might just work towards B. It looks like it. They pretty decisive. Hiffer gonna try to go into the ladder, take down Eddie, does connect that shot, so that opens up that route. As they already have a five on three. Andy just has to try to see if he can't make a play here. Very aggressive enough for B, but gets caught by Krumer. Flash not doing him any favors. So Epiphany Ball, even though they lost a pretty crazy eco round last round, it looks like they might get kind of a flawless victory here. Never mind, Waxic does grab a knock kill. Maybe a second coming in as well, but still a pretty clean win for Epiphany Bolt nonetheless. Oh, Ow. <laughs> Not as much damage as I was hoping for. 52 health box now. Pushed on all sides. Able to pick up one, picks up another one before he finally gets treaded out. So he makes it costly for Epiphany Bolt, but still going to get dropped. Dust, I mean, here's the thing I'm noticing about Waxic, though. He's playing this super, super passive off angle. I don't see a lot of offers doing this. So instead of like getting aggressive up by like window or watching at jungle or connector and taking the fight to the T's, if he gets smoked off, he falls all the way back to CT and just basically hopes that a yeah, bolt drops I mean, into jungle room. I can definitely understand not picking window if it's getting smoked off repeatedly. There's no point in even <clears> going there. But definitely odd you don't see him like maybe taking an aggressive palace pick or an upper B pick or maybe, like like you said, even just going connector to watch mid from there. That's typically what you see is a dynamic opera that kind of takes some semi-aggressive positions to get picks. But yeah, Waxic has not really done that. 
as we already see Moment taking out Sasuke once again. So Moment's had a lot of opening picks. He hasn't been the top fragger, but he's had a lot of opening frags. Again, they get that ladder room control so quickly. They do this every round. They're able That's to get the problem. get in the ladder room a lot. Yeah, that, that is a big problem right there. Epiphany Bolt, they try to take mid, take ladder room control, and then they can rotate quickly anywhere that they want, right? Right. Uh, and even get behind on CT. And then they do this sort of thing often, too, where they set up at B side, and they do this heavy smoke tactic. You see the bomb is at B. Moment's going to start working his way forward, and look at how Hiffer has worked his way in the marketplace. Woxix su suspects something. Be able to drop him off, and now the entry... ST drops Eddie walks to finds himself all alone with the AWP. That's a one for one trade. Bomb should go down, no problem. Calix left all alone, working his way towards market moments, already taking that position. Yeah, I mean, even though Death Trap has had their moments, you know, like winning that eco round, for example, um, they've never really been in control of this game. Like, Epiphany Bolt has really dictated the pace of this game pretty much the whole way through. They're about to be up 9 4. Uh, since the money just got reset from Death Trap, actually, they're not going to have any money next round either. So pretty much just M4 being saved yep. by Kallax is going to be the only gun they have. So it's very likely to be 10-4 for Epiphany Bolt. Um, yeah, I mean, it just seems like Death Trap doesn't have much of a response to this team. I mean, we, we talked about it. Epiphany Bolt's been able to just push mid, get into ladder room, get so much control for free almost just so rapidly. And not only that, but they're just constantly getting opening picks. Like, I can't tell you how many times Moment Please has gone you know, somewhere like underpass or right. wherever and just found the first frag and get an instant five on four for his team almost every time. And then you've uh, got a so, T this impact player who just mops up the mess afterwards. Yeah. I mean, so when you add all that together, it's just a recipe for disaster for Death Trap. You know, you just can't really get anything done. No. Going into an eco round right here, only one gun. That's going to be in hands of Calix. Calix really has been representing uh, too much for his team. He's 4, 4, and 11 at this point. Maybe get a couple more frags. He's uh, been an A player traditionally, but this time he's going to take that gun over towards B's side. If he's had a little bit of extra pressure on B, I think, just because they've been able to take these frags relatively easily. Once again, they have eyes on ladder room here on Epiphany Bolt. They've already done even a little bit of damage here to that player, which is going to be Eddie down halfway. He's going to get taken out there. Krumer also going to pick up Kallax, so the one rifle that was in play is down. Woxic will pick it back up, so he does still have it in play, but he's stuck all the way deep in B while that bomb is making its way up connector into the A bomb site here, so Epiphany Bolt has pretty much avoided that pressure. Looks like they do have another round in the books. Yeah, walks. The best thing he can really do is just save this M4A1S into the next round, right? Let's see what the money's looking like. Yeah, I would, I would definitely want to hang out of that gun. Especially He's now that he doesn't even off. have the HP to look for exits. Like he was trying to battle out connector, he took a lot of damage, so now definitely trying to fall back. But I mean, Epiphany Bolt, yeah. they had these four positions on catwalk and market, so it's gonna be very difficult for him to save this. There it goes. Yeah, he's already out. Gandhi, nowhere near that M4 to pick it back up. Of all oh, players, clean like. Win. The, the one you don't want to run into is Moment. He's just been such a such a start entry fragger. He's just going to come charging on in there. You have four health. I mean, what what can you really do? Land the shot or die. So here we are. Last round of the first half. Epiphany Bolt have run away with this thing. And Dust, you were talking a little bit about the economy uh, being reset. It's one of those nuances about Counter-Strike, for those of you unfamiliar with it. If you win a round... You reset the money you're getting. Instead of 3400 bucks per round, you're getting 1400 bucks. So uh, if right. you can't convert that win into multiple rounds in a row, you end up doing more damage. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely a difficult thing to deal with. But Death Trap here in the last round of the game will have a full buy. They do get the opening pick this time on the Krumer, but Moment with the trade it here on a heavy A execute. Suzuki though, inside that sandwich position that wasn't expected. They will deliver really big for his team here. Could even get the quad kill to secure the round, and he nice. does. So at least there's a little bit of life there at the end for the death trap, folks. But still a rough half overall, only getting five rounds. So Epiphany Bolt definitely in the driver's seat of this game. While losing that round might be a small morale victory for death trap. Overall on the scoreboard it doesn't amount to much. They're still quite down and now Epiphany Bolt's on the CT side So it only gets more difficult going forward Yeah, so hopefully Death Trap has some tricks up their sleeve for T side 
even with that win at the very end, 10-5 is a pretty um, pretty one-sided score line, which makes the pistol round so much more important than it usually is, right? If, if Death Trap loses the pistol round right there, they really risk uh, score line running away to, what, 13 to uh, 5, possibly 14 to 5 or so, and then that, at that point the game's largely all over. We'll see what happens. The, the buyout's going on uh, as far as kit and equipment. Got a smoke, got a flash. Armor and a decoy, so not a whole lot of utility. It's going to be up to Calyx to go ahead and play the support role and um, set something up to open this round up. Bomb working its way towards B apps. Yeah. What oh, they Calyx can... is going to do a fake. He is. He's throwing that smoke and flash towards the A bomb side, but it is a huge upper B push. But Krumer and Hiff are both pushing upper B directly. Maybe we'll catch Watson. That's actually the bomb down. That stinks. And that's the bomb isolated as well. They have full yeah. control. What a position to have the bomb. And the third person's already on its way over here to help out Moment. And even ST, a fourth, is on its way as well. So getting this bomb back, gonna be a tall task. Yeah, like Death Trap to get bomb back, they all have to come through one single doorway, one single choke point. Look at look at this crossfire. It's like four guns on your face. So if you just yeah, come walking around, you're so dead. Oh yeah. The one hope they can hope for is Gandhi's flank, but <laughs> S3 tag is set up to catch that. So yeah, good luck, Calyx. Don't yeah. let your memes be dreams, man. See what you can do. Be Leonardo DiCaprio last night. Get your Oscar. Get in there. Do oh. something. Oh, he gets a kill. There's That's one. a start. That's one small step forward, man. Now, Moment is tagged up pretty good, so could be a problem. You see S3 tag. I thought he was going to go through underpass, but no, he's going to work his way around. Just watch it for a flank. Make sure nobody can peek out of underpass. Oh, no, he's just going to push the issue. Coming up underpass. He's thunderbooting, though. Announces his position. Galax isn't hip to it, though, and uh, goes down to a quick headshot. So, uh, disappointing round. Really, it's just disappointing position to lose control of the bomb, it, making the round almost unwinnable for Death Trap. Yeah, that's always it's always rough whenever you get hard countered like that. Like you're setting up a fake at A, you have that bomb tucked in upper B by itself. Everyone else is actually underpass. And the you, you just so happens that there is an upper B push from Epiphany Ball, which is pretty rare to see on pistol rounds on the C T side and they yeah. catch the bomb. So I mean that's just Yeah, hey, you wouldn't expect that. No, not at all. Definitely a tough one to deal with. Well. Death trap now in a world of hurt. They got one uh, flash. That's going to go out as they try to take position at Connector. Look at this. He has three techs standing on top of Tick Booth. Going to spray down. That's a 2K. ST, ST rather picks up a single kill himself. Then Krumer goes up and mops up the mess at, uh, at Shtanda's spot here on Mirage 5 and 12. I mean, there's not, not much to be said about that round. It's a quick cleanup for Epiphany Vault, and this round's probably going to be much the same. There's been no bomb plants for Death Trap to do any type of real buying this round, so they will just get a few upgraded pistols, but no armor, only one flash on Gandhi. It looks like they will just try to plow up A ramp in Palace this time with one lurk over towards upper B underpatch, which will be a walk stick. So, again, this is going to try to explode on the site. They do have two players on A. This is a default setup for Epiphany Vault, really, but Krumer is pushing Cat, so he'll be able to quickly rotate. An ST, oh man, been on the tower to flank right away. Oh. Finds him. Takes All these the counter nades like on Palace. Yes, three. Boosted up on top of triple stack. Little headshot spot. Often not checked. ST worked his way towards the A side. So at this point, they know exactly what's going on. Moment's been pushed all the way up towards B side. Krumer also checking out mid. Narrowing it down. Moment pressing up or be like this, Krumer can just push Cat, have a quick rotate connector to A before the hit really sets in. So all Death Trap is doing by the laying at this point is making it hotter on themselves and that rotate's going to set in thanks to the info Moment has gained. Now they're smoked off, going to push through smoke. You can take a lot of damage. There you go, the power of the stack. Hiffer from the bottom actually mops it up. What was that? A 4K almost instantly for Hiffer. Dropping two at the top, then two at ramp. Seems like it's just piling on at this point, man. It is. Like, it looks like we might just be a few rounds away from Epiphany Vault's victory here. But Death Trap will have, I guess, one final shot 
to, to make a comeback in this game. I feel like this round has to be the round that works for them. I mean, money's going to be pretty low next round if this doesn't work, unless they can get like a bomb plan at least. So but this first is pretty much their last gun round. Band. Their first and potentially their only gun round. That's not the way to open it up, though. Especially to a scout. Come on, to a scout. SD drops the I mean, if he's hitting them. heads, there's not That's much right. to do about that. But he also gets a body shot in the Waxic, and Krumer will clean it up with the nade. So even worse now on Death Trap as they're just kind of falling apart. See, now Krumer's oh. able to take one more down. He sees the bomb, so Tasuki has to push the issue to get the bomb. Krumer can just hold control at bottom while Moment works on a flank. Hiffer, he has three tag. Yeah, he's hit communication. The lines of communication start to open up. Tasuki at back of Island. Gets one kill for his troubles, but uh, the delay tactic wow. worked. Moment's able to go all the way around on the flank and shoot him in the back. So first, potentially only real gun round for Death Trap was a spectacular failure right there. Yeah, now they have to do more with even less just to prevent a map point from Epiphany Vault already. So it's not a, a good outlook if you're the Death Trap guys. And it's really just all-out aggression from Epiphany Vault. I mean, the moment continues to press up or B pretty much every round. They're pushing mid. Uh, they're just getting in Death Trap's faces. And now it looks like they want to double push A ramp, which is going to be a heavy A hit coming in. They're setting up their nades and everything. So this could be a little bit dicey as the two-man totem pole oh, just absolutely no. rips the a ramp push and that's just oh my God. that's just a bizarre play oh, i mean man. no nobody does that nobody nope. does that not there anyway <laughs> <laughs> that's not a typical spot you would see the you got it like my heart stack, goes but, out to death oh, trap yeah, right there sure. i mean they were setting up they got this force by like you know what? we can still do this we can bring this round together and they don't even get a chance to like walk into the site and make something no. happen they don't exercise the strat they just get mopped down by by, uh, Everyone light a candle for Death Trap there yeah. on in chat. They need it, boys. That's a rip. So we're on match point, Dust. 15 5. Yeah, we are. Uphill struggle, and here comes the aggression by Moment. Oh, surprise. Every Look, round. In the right dude. direction, still gets the kill. Every round. This is. A, you got. If you can't hold that, you're just never going to win rounds. I feel like. You got to be able to deal with that. So yeah, it looks like we're seeing the beginning of the end here. It's already a 4 on 2 in this round. The Death Trap's all isolated at this point. They know Cal yep. is down by Ram. He's all alone, so there's no way. If he dies, his death is going to be meaningless. And there's a grenade right in the face. That one hurts. And Gandhi left completely all alone at top. You know, I thought he preached peace, right? Just just hide. Wait out the clock. Give it up. Don't, don't fire a shot, Gandhi. Don't do it. Man. And he is. He's, he's this is not time for peaceful prof test, Gandhi. You got to get out there and... <laughs> Make something happen with this AK. Yeah, it's he's, not he's, looking likely though. He's running out of time. I mean, there's really not much he can do. Based on the positioning, B would be the best bet. There's only one person there. He's going to start creeping his way up towards mid. ES3 tag is watching uh, connector, just kind of checking it out. Hipper's in a position to watch it too. So they can immediately have three guns on connector if they wanted to. And he's going to work his way on up. And spot it out. There's one kill. Ah, he has three right there. Yeah. Well, that about yep. does it. I mean, there's really not much to analyze about that game. It was a pretty one-sided affair much. all the way through as Epiphany Bot will go ahead and take to victory. And again, this was just us kind of giving uh, a little bit of highlight to some of our uh, teams competing <laughs> in our lower league over in ESCA. Man, hopefuls to compete in Pro League someday. As, of course, we had a break from Pro League today due to all the teams traveling after the major qualifier that took place yeah. in Columbus. So we will be back to our normal Pro League coverage tomorrow, I believe. Uh, so if you're tomorrow not already... Tomorrow should be good. I, I yeah. imagine. I don't know what teams we have, but uh, next on the books, we've got uh, CLG. We've got Liquid. Uh, I think Optics also scheduled. So we'll see some yeah. of these big name NA teams, who um, many of which are going to the major, which is pretty cool. Right. So we're pretty much done for the day, folks, here on this channel. But definitely yeah. go ahead and hit that follow button if you're not already, because we do pretty much daily pro league coverage on this channel. Today was just kind of an exception because of uh, the competition schedule right now and yep. teams traveling and stuff. So it's a little bit of an anomaly. But normally we're going to have your pro league coverage taking place on a regular basis. Let's here. plug that Twitter, too. Uh, yeah, we'll do that in just a sec. So yeah, definitely hit this follow button on Twitch if you're not already to catch that Pro League coverage in the next couple of months. You can also follow us on Twitter at Pat Flanagan, at Dust Moret. We would appreciate your follows there as uh, the links will be in chat 
Uh, so you can do the casters command to get those links. So definitely follow us up. We'll keep cool you stuff. informed on what's going on. And uh, other than that, thanks a lot for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll follow up and hope you'll come back for more as we should be back tomorrow night. Yeah, so have a good one, folks. See you later.